Hello again everyone. So today we are going to be looking at chin rests. So for those of you that aren't aware of what this is, it's where you sit down on a chair or a seat of some sort and the dog has to rest their chin nice and firmly on your legs. The aim of the game is to get them to keep that pressure through their head while you're checking in their ears, in their eyes, in their gum lines, all of that. It, res it relies a lot on trust between the dog and you and it's basically us saying if you're not comfortable with this then we will back off. So what you want to be doing is getting yourself a nice chair, you can do this on the sofa if you feel quite comfortable on the sofa or anything else where you're slightly raised up off the ground so that the top of your legs are a nice resting surface for your dog. So as before I've got my nice dining room chair here in my spare room again <laughs> um, and you will also be needing a towel. The towel is something for if you've got a bit of a drawly pup. Uh, my own pup has a bit of a cheese beard going on right now, hence the use for the towel. Um, if you don't care about the trousers that you're wearing or you don't have a particularly drooly dog, then by all means do it, do it without the towel, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is you want to sit on the chair with the tops of your thighs together and that forms a really nice resting platform for your dog's head. To start with, we're just going to be luring them in, making sure they're nice and square, so their shoulders are straight in front of your knees. That means that they've got the best surface available for their head, so you're setting them up for success. You're then going to bring that lure into the groin area, nice and deep into the crevice between your two legs, and that's basically luring them and encouraging them in to really nestle their nose and their chin onto your legs. At that point, you can release the treat and we can move on. So let me just demonstrate quickly. Let me get into position. So you want to just drape the towel over your legs like so. Get your lure ready. You can see Dougal's already ready. And you just want to lure him back so that he's got the distance and the space to approach nice and square. You can see already he knows what we're doing. Even though he's tempted to go a bit further, all I'm going to do is stick that treat on the end of his nose and bring it in to the top of my legs. By pushing it down, yep, I'm just encouraging that extra pressure onto the tops of my legs. So let me show you again. So you want to bring that treat nice and far back so that he's encouraged to approach nice and straight. Treat between the legs. Yep, using that vocal marker when you feel that pressure. At this point, you want to do it instantaneously. So as soon as that pressure goes down, you're gonna be yipping and rewarding. Yep, good boy. Once you've got the hang of that, you can start shaping for duration. So this is basically where we change the timing of our yips for when they've had a bit of a longer hold. So in your head, I just want you to count one Mississippi and then yip and reward. So again, luring him in and then one Mississippi, yip, reward. And I want you to keep going with that one Mississippi until it's nice and reliable. What I mean by reliable is that they're offering it about nine out of 10 times. So again, nice approach. Good. The treats I'm using for this are a mixture of just standard kibble and little bits of smacko, just to keep his interest. Um, I advise doing the same for your own dogs unless they know this already, in which case kibble is usually just okay. Once you've done your one Mississippi, and that's nice and reliable, I just want you to extend it to two Mississippis. So again, lure in, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, yep, and release that treat. I want you to keep going, staggering that in every second, so you're continuously going through the stages until you can do for five Mississippis. So I'm gonna lure him in and then go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, yep, good boy. It's quite a long time, but it's gonna really build up that knowledge of that pressure. So the longer they can hold that pressure there, the more they're gonna be able to progress to the next stage. You can see Dougal's definitely got the hang of this. He's just planting his chin nice and firmly on my legs. So once you can hold those five Mississippis of chin rests, you're gonna start building up to a little bit of movement. Like I said before, the aim of the game is to have their heads on your, on your lap and you're meant to be able to then check in their ears, so check in the ear flaps, check their eyes, check their gum lines, all of that, whilst they maintain their pressure on your lap. What that pressure means is that they trust you, that they're comfortable with what you're doing to them. If at any point they pick their head up, you've gone too far, so I just need you to back it up a little bit, go to the previous stage where they were succeeding, and practice that a little bit further just to build that trust. 
So again, I'm just going to hold it here, count to five in my head, and then I'm going to yip. And then the next time what I'm going to do is add in a little bit of movement. So I'm not going to go straight into checking the ears. Chin. Good. I'm just going to add in a little bit of movement. Yep. Good boy. So that was quite a lot of movement. If your dog can't cope with you touching them at this stage, then even just going like this is enough because you're adding in that variation and teaching them that that movement is okay and that they don't need to be worried about it. Chin. Good boy. Once you've then progressed from there, good boy. <laughs> you can then go on to touching the top of the head. Once you've touched the top of the head, you can then go yip and reach for that treat and reward. Good. Still reward on your lap at that point because we want to reward in that final position. So let's try that again. Back up. Good. Chin. You can do better. Chin. Good boy. And then I'm just going to do those movements. Touch on the top of the head. Feel down the ear. He lifted his head up, so that was a bit far. So, chin. Good. Yep. So you can see there, I just dialed it back a little bit to the bit where he was last comfortable. And then let's redirect them back around. Dukes over here. Over here. Good. Line them up nice and square again. And then we can progress. Yep. So because he struggled with a full ear touch before, I only did a half one there. So I only went halfway down the ear instead of all the way down, just to make it easier for him so that he was more comfortable. And then learn back around again. Cukes. Yep. Good. Chin. And then you can slowly, slowly progress it up. Yep. So there he let me do the full ear, which is why I re rewarded him for that. Chin. Good. And then you can start building it up. So now I'm going to lift. Yep. And you can see there that he trusted me to do that. So I yipped and rewarded him for letting me have a look in. You can see what I mean by very, very slight movements because at no point do you want to rush it because that will just take out of your relationship bank account. That's something that I'll explain in a later video. Good. Good boy. Okay. So checking that lower eyelid was too far, but the upper eyelid was fine. So chin, you can do better. Good. Yep. So I don't mind if they lift their head up once you've already yipped them because that marker is pinpointing exactly what you're treating them for. Yep. So exactly like there, he kept his head nice and planted down on my legs and then lifted it up once I marked him, which was fine. <laughs> So I'll do one more. Yep. Lovely. And then once you're done, just give the finish command. And then we can take the towel away. And that's it. So in terms of the finish command, I understand that that might be something that's a bit new to you. Um, so we'll do a video based on that as well later on. Um, but hopefully that all makes sense. If you do have any questions, then you can shoot me an email or a text or just comment down below and we can have a bit of a discussion about it. Um, but otherwise, have fun practicing that one at home and I look forward to seeing all of your videos. I'll see you all soon. Bye.